So I just got 2020.36, so let's take a look at the release notes. Not a heck of a lot of uh, changes for this one, but there's a lot of good stuff. So green traffic light chime, this is interesting. So when you're at a traffic light and say you don't have autopilot on and the light turns green, but you don't see it, it will chime at you to let you know that the traffic light is now green. And then when you have auto steer or autopilot on, it will chime once it turns green so that you can proceed. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it'll continue to drive through traffic lights following a car. Next up is speed assist improvements. So now it can detect speed limit signs. So that's great. And I've tested that, this out, it works pretty good and I'm gonna show some videos on this. It doesn't act, automatically adjust the speed up, I've noticed. It adjusts it down on like uh, single lane highways. If it's on divided highways, it seems to just keep whatever speed you had it set to. So you could be doing 50, it goes to a 35, it'll continue to go uh, 50 unless it's an undivided highway, then it reduced to five over the speed limit. So I'll show some of that in a couple of minutes. Then the last one is suspension uh, instrument panel display. So on the Model S and X, there's the display uh, behind the steering wheel. And now you can see those same suspension visualizations that you can see on the center screen. Uh, and I'll show that during some of the videos as well. So let's get out and take a look at a few of these things. Right off the bat, I noticed something odd about autopilot, so I'll let you listen to this. A little unusual. That was the only time I heard that, and it seemed to be operating fine, so maybe just a glitch. Autopilot now picks up speed ahead signs as well, so you'll see the yellow sign here, and you see the sign on the screen, it says 30 miles an hour, but it doesn't change the speed until it gets to the actual 30 mile per hour zone. So that's pretty cool. It also reduced the speed to 35 max, which is five over, and uh, transitioned to no lines with no problem. I was about to turn around here, coming up on this corner, and luckily I was going slow because this car is driving on the wrong side of the road. Here is driving into the sun, coming up to a 40 mile per hour zone for a 45. You'll see when it passes, it detects it, and also reduces the speed to 45. Now I'll try out the chime. Coming over a hill towards a traffic light, it did chime, but it was already slowing down. And I noticed this a couple of times. In fact, it did it uh, at this traffic light and the one immediately after it here. Sometimes it would break a few seconds after, sometimes it would break a few seconds before it chimed. Here I'm coming up on a traffic light that's around the corner to the right, and it detects this traffic light really early. The chime is about the same time that it slows down, so not too bad. Here I'm following a car through the green traffic light, and you'll see that it doesn't chime at all. And I like that they've done this so that it doesn't just constantly chime at you. And here's another example of it driving through a green traffic light following another car uh, without a chime. Here I'm coming up on a 50 mile per hour zone, so it was 45 going to 50, and you'll see that it detects the speed limit increase to 50, but it does not increase my speed to 55 for five over. I have to do that manually. There's a lot coming up here. There is a speed ahead sign where it reduces to 35. There's also some flashing warning lights here that the car doesn't seem to quite know what to do with, but it follows the car in front of it. Previously, I've had it slam on the brakes here. Now you'll notice that even though the speed limit is 35, it appears to think this is a divided highway and keeps the speed at 55. I had to reduce speed manually. Here I'm coming up to a traffic light where the van is blocking the car's cameras and you can see that the traffic light actually disappears. However, when the light turns green and it detects it again, it goes ahead and follows it uh, without a chime. Though this is kind of unrelated to this update, you can see here that these uh, signal ahead lights are confusing the car. It's possible it would break if it wasn't following other cars. Here I'm coming around a corner towards a traffic light. You can see the car in front of me turns to the right, and the car chimes since it doesn't feel like it's following a car through the traffic light, which is pretty cool. Here's another example of where I'm a little too far from the car in front of me and it chimes for the traffic light. It also gives me plenty of confirmation time before it starts to slow down. So now let's check out that suspension visualization. So this is comfort mode. This is sport.
comfort mode. Sport. Sport mode. Now comfort. So that's it for 2020.36. Uh, not too many changes, but a lot of good changes. I like the additional visualization. Speed limit sign rating is great. I hope that it'll adjust speeds based on that very soon. The chimes are also a great addition. Thanks for watching.